The conductors are the body through which the electric current flows. For example, the conductors are iron, copper, silver, steel, etc. So these are the bodies through which the electric current can easily pass through. Others are like alloy. What are alloy? Alloy is a substance which is made by mixing metals with other elements. So these alloy like nichrome or manganine, these are used in heating appliances. So these also act as a conductor because it allows the current or the heat energy to pass through it. But these alloys have low conductivity in comparison to the pure matter. What is conductivity? Conductivity determines the amount of electricity passing through the conductors. So, the amount of electricity passing through alloy is less than that of the pure metal that is iron, copper, silver, etc. Human body is itself a good conductor. Next, we have insulators. What are insulators? Insulators are the body through which current does not flow. For example, plastic, wood, paper, etc. Through these bodies, the current cannot flow. That is, the electric charges cannot flow through these bodies. Now, we have many examples of insulators and conductors at our home also. Like you have seen the wire of appliances. For example, the wire of laptop charger, the mixy, the wire of mixy, the wire of washing machine, etc. That means the wire which have insulator or the plastic sheet on top. Now, how that wire looks like? That wire has a plastic sheet or insulator wrapped around it. Okay, that's why you can hold the wire and you cannot get the electric shock. If you cut that wire, you see that inside the wire there are copper wires. These copper wires are conductors. Through these copper wires, the electric charges or the electric current is flowing. If you try to touch that copper wire while the circuit is on, then you will get an electric shock. Because the conductor allows the electric current to pass through it. And the insulator, that is the plastic or the rubber sheet which you are holding, does not allow the current to pass through it. That's why you can easily hold the wire in your hand. The next example that you have seen, a 3-pin plug. That 3-pin plug contains a metal pin which projects outward. Okay, that metal pin is a conductor. If you need to connect the circuit, then you need to insert those metal pin inside the socket. When those metal pin is inserted inside the socket, then it completes the circuit and the current flows through it. If you try to touch that metal pin while the circuit is on, then you will get an electric shock. But you can touch that 3 pin plug by means of the plastic cover which is outside those metal pin. The metal pins are embedded inside the plastic cover. Okay, that plastic cover is insulator. It is used to prevent from the electric shock. So there are also many other appliances in your home that are behaving as a conductor and insulators. Now the question arises that why conductors allow the electric charges to pass through and why not the insulators allow them? What happens in conductors when the current is flowing? Then it causes the electrons to vibrate. In conductors, the electrons are loosely bound. When the electric current passes through these loosely bound electrons, then it causes the electrons to move from one atom to another inside the matter. Due to this movement of electrons from one atom to the another, the flow of charges occur. That means the flow of current occurs. Now, see the case in insulator. What happens? The electrons are tightly bound. That means when the current is passed through it, then that current enables the electrons to move from one atom to the another. That means in insulators, the current does not travel from one atom to the another atom. 
due to which the electric current does not flow in insulator and due to the movement of electrons from one atom to the another causes the current to flow in conductors so these are the phenomenon and the definition of conductors and insulators next the very very important topic in electricity is electric potential you know about electricity we have discussed so far next term the which is added to it is potential what is potential potential is the capability okay electric potential when it is combined then that relates the capability of electricity so the electric potential is basically the force of the electric circuit or the push of the electric circuit now if you take a shower then the water flowing in the shower is your electricity or electric current and the pressure of water which you are feeling above your head is your electric potential so electric potential is the push or the force in the electric circuit now basically let's see the definition of electric potential the electric potential is caused due to the work done in moving the charges in a circuit there is an electric circuit in electric circuit the current flows how the current is flowing the current is flowing by the movement of charges these charges are moving from one place to the another place so the work done in moving these charges in a circuit that is in a electrical circuit is called electric potential there is also a term related to this electric potential which is called potential difference now let's understand this potential difference by taking one atom at a time that is here we have taken two atoms one which is negative charge and the other is placed near to it that is positive charge now what happened if you leave that positive charge atom then it has the tendency to get attracted towards the negative charge okay now what we need to do if i ask you to move this positive charge from position a to position b then you need to apply a force why the force is applied because that positive that positive charge has the tendency to move towards the negative charge and you are applying the force against the force of attraction so now this positive charge is moving from a to b so in moving from a to b you need to apply the force and when this charge is moved from a to b then it needs to travel a distance say small d okay now the charge is moved from a to b that means you have done some work work is given by the formula force into distance the force is applied in moving the charge from a to b at a distance small d that means you have done some work so what is potential difference by this particular diagram we can conclude that potential difference is the work done in moving the charge from one point to the another that is the work done in moving the charge from point a to point b take a glass containing water and put it on the table what happens that if you don't touch that glass containing water the water is stationary it is still okay the water is not moving anywhere but if you make a hole in that glass then water will flow out of that hole and get spread it on the table why the water is moving out because the water is moving from higher level to lower level higher level is your glass level and the lower level is your table level that means all the body moves from higher level to lower level if you try to roll anything or a ball then it always moves from higher inclination towards lower inclination this same is applicable in the case of electric current also the current always flow from higher potential to lower potential if v1 is higher potential and v2 is lower potential then the current flows from v1 towards v2 and the potential difference created is v1 minus v2 so this potential difference is created due to the battery which is connected in the electric circuit in the battery due to some chemical combinations the potential difference is created in the circuit that is v1 or v2 
on subtracting this v1 from v2 you will get the potential difference okay so what is potential difference it is the work done in moving charges inside the circuit from one point to the another point potential difference is very important in order to calculate the electric current flowing in the electric circuit now let's see the formula for electric potential the electric potential is measured in volts okay it is given by capital v the formula for electric potential is v is equals to work done upon charge work done is notified by capital w and charge is notified by q so v which is potential difference is equals to w upon q now let's see what is 1 volt 1 volt is defined as the 1 joule of work done in moving one coulomb of charge from one point to the another point w that is work done is measured in joule q that is charge which is measured in coulombs so 1 volt is 1 joule of work done in moving one coulomb of charge so this is electric potential and potential difference